Hello there, this is Deckard6, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be making our own mod for Game Dev Tycoon. With the release of the Ultimate Mod Editor, it has never been easier to make your own relatively basic mods. We are going to do a few things over the course of this. We are going to really make a new topic, we are going to make a new engine feature, and we are going to make a new console and the release events for that console. Let's start with that topic. Actually, first, we're going to theme our mod. It's going to be Game Dev Tycoon. The next generation. It's going to be a Star Trek themed mod. So, topic. Topic is going to be exploration. You just got to name it here. You can then use these sliders to set the um, quality it meets with each of the different demographics. Terrible, bad, okay, good, great. I think exploration and action will be good, adventure will be great, RPG will be great, simulation will be great, strategy will only be good, and it's going to be awful, it's casual. A strong topic overall, but not completely overpowered. Also, we're probably going to be good with mature, great with everyone, and uh, poor with young. And that's it. That's all it takes. Like 30 seconds to make a topic. Now, you could put more effort in and potentially make, uh, you know, put more thought into it, but really that's all it takes to make a topic. Quick, easy, out the door. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a lab research. And this is going to be full immersion. The description is going to be allowing player to experience a game with all their senses. It will cost, let's say, 1200 to research. It's going to have no um, pre-existing criteria, I think. It's something that they can just research as soon as it starts. It's not repeatable, it's a one-time thing. We need a notification for when it's complete. So we can go to the notification editor. It's going to be called Dive Right In. Players can now experience a game with all five senses, allowing for record-breaking immersion into game, into the game. And the text accept button is going to be awesome! Excellent. And that is going to be our for that, so we're going to have notification, dive right in. And that sets us up a lab research doesn't actually give us anything yet. It's going to be the uh, condition for our engine part. It's going to be an engine part called Tactile Feedback. The criteria for researching it is going to be lab research Should have full immersion on here. So for the time being, it looks like you can't use uh, new lab researches as uh, conditions for engine research, which is somewhat disappointing. So we're going to make it require uh, AAA games, just to give it some sort of criteria. That's disappointing, but we're not just showing off how awesome this is, we're also pointing out some of the limitations that still uh, exist within it. So full immersion effectively does nothing right now. It's more of a theme only. Uh, hopefully eventually the uh, future versions will allow us to uh, eventually use full immersion into the engine part of tactile, uh, tactile feedback as what's required for it. Anyway, 
on to the uh, final piece. We're going to be doing a console called the Holodeck. Released by Kirk Enterprises. Actually, no. It wasn't the Holodeck in the original one, was there? It was in uh, Next Generation only. So it's going to be the Card Enterprises. Always Enterprises. It's going to be a highest level console. It will come out on see it's going to be probably 32 years in. Let's see. Give me a second. I'm going to look up when uh, the first episode of Next Generation aired. Right, so the first episode aired on September 28th. So that's when it's going to come out, basically. Oh, I see what it's doing. So this is going to be 9... 28... Or, I guess, 28, 9, 32? What's going on here? Or is this the month? Is this limited to 4? Oh, well, I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, it's weeks. So this should be year 32, month 9, week 4. Actually, we're doing this over 35 years, so we're trying to tweak it so it matches this. So it's going to be to year 32. I guess. Yeah, this is a bit confusing. Year 32, month 9, week 4. And it's going to retire. I wish I could say never. So we'll just put it out into the freaking far future with. Yeah. So it's going to go on for quite a while. Dev cost? Probably about five hundred thousand. License price is going to be two. No, it's going with five million. Big expensive because it's going to be awesome. The start amount sold is going to be two million, but it's going to end with a whopping twenty million units sold at the end of its time frame. That seems like a good idea. Genres. Holodeck will be good with action, adventure, RPG. It'll be good with simulation, poor with strategy, awful with casual. Audience weightings. Uh, good with everybody, but only uh, good with young. Events. Alright, we need to make an event. Be the uh, launch of our thing. See, this is going to be the same trigger date as our release, so that's 2833. Alright. So, trigger date based on event is 2833. Three. It can only be triggered once. It will not ignore the game uh, length modifier, so it will trigger based on the equivalent dates that we see there. Also, I really wish we could change this, but that's probably coming in future versions. Uh, the actual event pop-up is going to be a whole new world. Enter into a whole new world of 
immersive for good gaming with the hollow deck put out today by Picard Enterprises. There we go. And the notification of this event happening will be a whole, uh, whole new world. Excellent. And we'll assign that event to this console. Eventually, I suppose, you can do more complex events. But for the now, you're basically limited to those text pop-ups. Author will be Deckard 6. 6, not 8. The description will be a quick Star Trek themed mod. That's basically all you need to do. I'm somewhat disappointed with the limitations still available in events. One of my hopes was to make a, uh, with this editor, was to make a, was to make a, uh, go, uh, go send anyone on vacation button. But that's not available to us. So, we made a quick Star Trek mod. That took virtually no time at all to make a console, an engine, and a research piece. We can also see some of the limitations still uh, built within the engine. Mainly, it's good for adding topics. That's what I'd suggest with doing with it. You can add topics easy, 30 seconds, boom, done. And we've seen in the expansion how much just having appropriate flavor on your topics can do for your enjoyment of the game. Uh, that's on all for Deckard 6. We've made a mini-mod. See you next time.